So what I've done is between streams, I've done a little bit of organizational work. You'll notice that this is a little different to how we left off at the end of the last episode uh, or the last stream. And I've also done a little bit more resource gathering between streams as well because of the fact that the resource gathering is a little bit tedious, right? Getting the pickaxes and then just hitting the wall like this over and over and over again for like 15, 20, 30, 40 minutes, an hour, depending on how much uh, stuff you want to get. And so I moved the sawmill inside. This used to be out in like this overworld area here. And there wasn't really anything wrong with it being out in the overworld, but I think it just works better in here. I don't like having to move around so much, you know, and I'm not a huge fan of having to dip out into the super dark overworld area. So I've moved the sawmill into here and the secondary benefit of putting it next to the chest is that uh, if we go ahead and swap this to uh, orange, it's going to go ahead and automatically output uh, any sawdust and any oakwood planks directly into the chest. So hopefully it doesn't get backed up uh, quite as fast. I did also get a ton of these uh, bonsai oak cuttings and I've been processing those slowly but surely into more oak wood planks so that we hopefully have enough oak wood to get us through today's episode. And then on top of that, uh, the other main thing that I've been doing outside of a little bit of uh, pickaxe smashing is that I've also done a fair bit of wheat farming. So one nifty little trick that I did discover is that there's no limit to how fast you can use the watering can. And what I mean by that is if you were, uh, normally what I do is I like just hold down right click and it kind of just waters. But if you rapidly right click, it burns through it quite quick. And from my days of sifting in like Skyblock mod packs, I do have a macro setup that right clicks very quickly. And so if I press that, you'll see the watering can, it just burns through all of its water ridiculously fast. And the wheat grows quite a fair bit. Now, if you do that on water, so if I stand here and then I shift, to get the, the growth boost from shifting and I right click on the water source, these things grow super, super quick, right? These grow nice and fast. You can go ahead and break those like this. Then you can go do the same thing again. You can just right click really, really quickly to get the wheat to grow nice and fast. This does only work in a three by three area around the center block. So actually it's only these two bits of wheat that are getting uh, the super boost that is from the, uh, the watering can. And I think in an ideal world, if you wanted to make this as fast as possible, you would have the uh, unlimited water source back in the middle. Uh, the reason that we moved this is because if you have furnaces above wheat, then the wheat won't grow. So you do have to have uh, open space above the wheat for it to grow. But uh, I think what we might end up doing today is moving these furnaces into another machine, potentially even into their own machine, or maybe just into the main machine with the crafting station, and then moving the water back in the middle so that we can get a nice rapid growth on the uh, on the three by three area. One thing to bear in mind is that uh, you do need to stand back. When I first started this, I was kind of standing here and doing it. And uh, every single time when I uh, when I pooped, my poop would go right into the water and I'd lose that water to, uh, to sewage, which of course isn't what you want, right? So, uh, but this does make it very, very easy to get quite a large amount of a wheat. You'll see this stuff grows crazy fast when you're uh, when you're doing this. And so uh, between episodes, I have gone ahead and managed to get uh, almost two stacks of uh, wheat here, which is hopefully going to come in extremely useful into uh, today's episode. Not only because you can make bread out of it, uh, but uh, I think more importantly, you can make more poop, right? We can make the pulped bio blend. We can put that pulp bio blend into sewage and then get more poop out of it. And that poop is going to be especially useful for making more sewage because hopefully by the end of today's stream, we will have a five by five by five compact machine. So hopefully we'll have a lot more storage space than we currently have to get that compact machine. We of course need to get uh, more compact machine wall, easy enough, another block of machine casing, super easy at this point, and then four tiny machine pieces. And these are made in the metal press from immersive engineering with a tiny compact machine. So we do need four more tiny compact machines to do that. Um, but the key part here is that immersive engineering uh, is required and immersive engineering is kind of built quite heavily around this stuff right here, treated wood. It says treat it however you want, but do make an engineer's workbench with it. Now I did look at uh, how we make treated wood. Normally this is done with creosote oil. However, um, I didn't notice it in the last stream because these buckets look very similar, but this recipe here is creosote oil. This recipe down here is sewage or sewage. And so, if we get a bucket of sewage and we surround it with any kind of planks, we get eight treated wood planks. We can then use those treated wood planks to make an engineer's workbench, uh, or more importantly, we can also use it to make that metal press and then finally get more room. The quest is even called finally more room and I cannot wait. We do also have to do some stuff with sugarcane, but we'll get to that in a second. And so first things first, bucket of uh, sewage, planks, 
boom, boom, treated wood, acquired. Now, in order to make the workbench, this guy right here, we need one crafting table, some treated wooden fence, and then those treated planks. And that shouldn't really, I don't think, be too difficult. It also is probably a good idea for me to start pulverizing this wheat now. Uh, we're pulverizing the wheat down, of course, or not pulverizing, I should say, sawmilling the wheat down into that uh, pulped bio blend so we can make more poop going forward because I think we are going to have to treat uh, more wood in just a second here. But uh, let's go ahead and see about crafting up the treated wooden fences. Make sure to use the calculator mod thingy. Ooh, of course, there is a quest down here in chapter one. Which one is it? It's this one. But at what cost? The crafting calculator. How expensive is that to make? It requires not a ton. We do need um, black dye, which I'm not quite sure if we can get that yet. Uh, we do have stone of any kind, redstone, iron, and then black dye. I do think you can make this, yeah, with the um, fluid to item transformation, but I don't know if we can get pulverized charcoal just yet, right? Like, that's not a thing we can do. I think we did look before, and charcoal is seemingly quite difficult. Obviously, in a normal game, you'd do it with, with logs, and we do have a regular oak sapling in here, but given the compact nature of our setup, we can't obviously grow a full tree, right? So I, I don't know how easy that's going to be to do. Um, we can get lapis through sifting gravel, and then... You can also get cactus green with dandelion yellow. And for some reason, I do have it in my head that we do have yellow dye somewhere, maybe. Although maybe not, maybe I'm mistaken there. And you can also, of course, smell cactus. But again, I don't think we have what it takes to make cactus just yet. So I'm not quite sure if we can actually make this. It is quite possible that we could get like a squid to spawn in. Someone did mention cactus seeds, which could be a thing. Oh yeah, okay, so you can, all right, so you can get cactus seeds from sifting dirt, which you can then, of course, grow on sand into cactus. You can then smelt the cactus into cactus green, combine that with the lapis you get from sifting gravel to make the cyan, and then use the cyan with the calculator. Okay, I think that is how that's supposed to work. Now, we do have quite a bit of dirt dust, and so actually, that might be very doable. Yeah, before that, though, let me go and uh, finish what I started here. Let's get the uh, workbench like so. Uh, memory serves me right. It's you, you, and... Oh, we need one more of these planks, which does mean we need a little bit more in the way of uh, sewage. So if we take one of our uh, good old-fashioned poops here and head on over to the farming area, I think the easiest way for us to do that is something like this. There we go. Perfect. And then back in the overworld, we can just put that in here. Kapow. And then one, two, three. Crafting table and fence gets us the workbench. Nice. And I think for now, we'll put it in our empty compact machine over here, like that. So we're gonna need this to make quite a few things. One of the things that we can make, I think right off the bat, um, is potentially a garden cloche. This very powerful compacted greenhouse is an amazing thing to grow almost anything in, as long as it's small enough. Sadly, they're quite big, so don't count your blocks. Oh, do these take up four blocks, Chet, in height? Can I not use these yet? Do I have to wait until I get a bigger, a bigger machine, or do they fit in a three by three area? I'm not too sure. It does require a vacuum tube, which requires the engineer's blueprint, which does require some more of that lapis there, steel plate and paper. I do think we're gonna have to make a compactor from thermal expansion to get those steel plates. Um, we could always, actually, I guess we could do this after we get the metal press, unless the metal press itself also requires plates, um, in which case we would have to make the compactor anyway. I'm not quite sure if that is the case though. Um, but, but now, if we do want to get over to the metal press, which is uh, this quest in the middle, uh, we also have to come in from this side uh, and complete the sugary goodness quest, which says, who doesn't like this stuff? There's a few ways to get it, using your newly acquired sieve or just rummaging through another type of cost dirt. So we can sift for it, or we can cost dirt for it. It does seem like the cost dirt has the higher chance, 15% versus five. So I think I'm probably gonna go that way. That also gets us those beet seeds, which I don't think we necessarily need just yet, uh, but that does give us the option of getting, I think it's like red dye uh, fairly soon. So yeah, let's go ahead and grab some dirt. Uh, we do have gravel dust hiding out in here as well. And so if we just do something like this and like that, get to some coarse dirt, I think four should be fine. Because again, I think much like, ooh, actually, I assume the coarse dirt, unlike the normal dirt, will turn into farmland and then when you break it, it turns into normal dirt. Because we're effectively hoeing it, right? Yeah, so you don't, unlike normal dirt, you can't pick this up and then put it back down. Normally we'd, you know, just pick it up, put it back down, hoe it again, and over and over and over again until we got what we were after. 
But with the coaster, we cannot uh, cannot do that, unfortunately. But we did already get the uh, sugarcane seeds that were after. Also, this one took, took forever to turn into uh, to actual dirt here, which is very nice. So now we just need some uh, some sand. And uh, thankfully, we do have a fair bit of, uh, of cobblestone ready to go. So hammering that down into sand shouldn't take too, too long. And yeah, these are really nice and easy to come by. Um, okay, so we are out of food. I think just temporarily I will uh, grab some more bread here, although I do think that's maybe a little bit of a waste of our wheat, especially given that we can use that wheat in the form of pulped biomass to get more poop, and the poop is just a factually better food source, despite the fact that it is absolutely disgusting, right? So, yeah, the, poop, uh, the pulped bio blend in the storage gets you the, uh, the poop there. So, we've got this one bit of poop. Um, I think we can get quite a bit more over here, right? So we drop this in, like so. We then drop this in. Yeah. Did we, um... We did test this, right? I think it was the case that we couldn't use this in, like, the flowing water bit. Like, this doesn't work right if I try and do that. Yeah, no, it has to go into the uh, the source block and consume it. Okay. In which case, it makes more sense to just do that in here. You just go one and two. Oh. You gotta be careful, though, because... Oh, I mean, that, that, that kind of works. Uh, let's move this. Like I said, I think I want to move these um, furnaces anyway. Yeah, that kind of works out perfectly, actually, because then we can just do that. It'll also turn back into sewage, and then we can just do it again. And I guess we can just stand here, actually, right? And get all of the uh, all of the poop our heart desires. Look at that, perfect. 16 poop, ready to go. It's a perfect food source, and it also helps us with... Uh, I guess we don't need this now, but I can pick that up for treated wood. Uh, but it works really well for um, for fuel as well. You know, we can make this uh, poop fuel if we want to smelt more up. That's also probably something we should be doing right now, actually is uh, maybe smelting some more iron up, because we did use pretty much all of our iron in the last episode, trying to get just as much steel as possible with the old uh, the old TNT. So uh, for now, we'll go ahead and we'll put some in there. And I think we should also probably get some, like, copper, maybe, going in the, uh, the other furnace, because I think immersive engineering does use a fair bit of copper as well, so we'll throw that in, like so. Um, so now, where were we? We can make these... Uh, we can try and get these cactus seeds. I think I put my sieve away. I did indeed. Let me just quickly check that we do make uh, get this with the string mesh. We do indeed. So, yeah, let's sift some dirt, shall we? And see if we can't get a cactus seed. At which point we'll try and get uh, some sand. And we'll... Uh, actually, we might have a cactus seed. Because we have sifted some dirt before. No, it doesn't look like we do, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, once we have this, we'll get the sand. Uh, we'll start growing both the sugarcane and the, uh, the cactus. Probably in the same area as the uh, the engineer's workbench and then from there we can uh, we can move on and and hopefully get this metal press fairly easily it doesn't look chat too hard to make and there we go look at that cactus seeds perfect all right so i'll finish off the uh, the last bit of sifting here and i think once again i'll just pick up ooh, a jungle seed nice uh, we'll just pick this back up to free up some uh, some space i do also i think at some point in today's stream uh, want to set up those strong boxes i did look at the quest there is a quest over here in chapter one that wants us to make the strong box and it's not too bad you know what let's make one real quick here i also think it's probably not going to be too hard do we have the tin we do not we're a little light on tin okay i'm going to come back to that <laughs> before the end of today's stream uh, because i do want to upgrade these i think to uh, to a higher tier because i we could make more double chests but they're taking up so much space you know so quickly that i don't think it's uh necessarily worth it uh, instead let's grab some dirt uh, or some cobblestone even which you do get from sifting dirt which is a nice uh, byproduct but uh, thankfully, we do have extra from my previous hammerings. We don't actually need that much sand, right? We only need, like, maybe, you know, two or three to uh, to do all of the cactus and sugarcane growing. There we go. Now, I think that uh, you do get the cactus right away when you uh, put this down, right? Yeah, we should probably let that grow. So we don't have to sift for more going forward. Now, the uh, sugar cane, on the other hand, does require uh, water, right? And so it might be a better idea for now, at least, to put that in over here. Maybe just replace this front line of wheat temporarily with, uh, with the old sand. Like that. 
Oh, the watering can works on the cactus in this pack. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll give that a try in, uh, in just a second here. Does it also work with the uh, sugar cane? Oh, it totally does. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so we can do that fairly easily. I guess at that point, we should maybe move the cactus in here, right? Although we don't actually need that much cactus, right? So if, we, if this gets us an extra piece. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, we got two extra little bits of cactus. So now we do need to smelt one bit of cactus. Gosh, my inventory is getting so full. Uh, let's take that tin dust and start smelting that up uh, in here as well. In fact, I think I'm going to set like this here as my entry point. And I'm going to start putting furnaces in here as opposed to in the farming area. It feels like it makes very little sense to have them in here, right? Um, but yeah, we'll take this out. We'll put you in. Get that smelting away there, because uh, we need the space. <laughs> we are running out of uh, of inventory space real fast. And then over here, we'll do a similar thing, but with the cactus, we'll start smelting that up. Uh, and for now, I'll just throw that on the ground and maybe try and dump some of my inventory in here. Because it's just so full <laughs> of everything. There we go, okay. Yeah, 24 and 35. That should be okay, I think, actually. Uh, we might have to uh, smelt up some uh, steel grit. Because I'm pretty sure that's going to be needed today as well. Let me just quickly check. There's not like a more efficient way of doing that. I don't think there is, at least not just yet. So we should now actually have that uh, quest over here completed. We have indeed sugary goodness. Next up, we have pressed off. Pressed off. Pressed off. Also pressed off or pressed off uh, is the German language term for a type of Erstaz, or artificial leather used during the first half of the 20th century, made of specialty layered, or made of specially layered and treated paper pulp. Pressed off was durable and easily adapted to being used in place of leather. In Minecraft, this is made by throwing paper into sewage water. It's true. Ah, so we can craft three sugar cane into paper. We can craft the paper with the sewage into the, uh, the pressed off and then use that pressed off uh, as a leather substitute. We can indeed. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. So in that case, then we need more sugarcane, right? Actually, maybe not. It depends how much leather we need, I guess. Uh, probably a fair bit. We do need to make, uh, or I think it's gonna be nice of us to make the engineer's manual so we can see how the uh, multi-block comes together for the metal press, that is. So yeah, let's grab some more sugarcane, shall we? Especially since it's so easy to uh, to grow with that uh, that watering can trick. Okay, that's done. Fantastic. Um, we do need to throw one of these poops in here. Now, again, I'm actually quite tempted to test it out in here. Because if we can do this without having to use the sewage, that would be grand. Alas, I think it was just a glitch with the, um, the nitrate, was it? Yeah, okay. So we do need quite a bit of sewage, actually. That's uh, more expensive than I thought. But again, and so it, again, it might be worth just putting like all of this wheat back in here to get more of that pulp biomass. Just so we can get even more poop, uh, poop going forward. But yeah, we'll just do the same thing we did before. We'll throw that in. Uh, we'll throw you in. We'll throw that in. We'll throw you in. And there we go. Nice. Quest complete. And then one leather, which is just three of our newfound pressed off. And voila, there we go. Nice. Okay, so now we need power. Your machines are going to need some power. Unfortunately, you're low on space, and this seems to be the only option. So we have the thermoelectric generator with uranium and water. Uranium, we already have. Water is steel, constantan, and the copper coal block. Now, ooh, someone in the Twitch chat says, can you not throw multiple things into the uh, the storage? That's a good question. Like, can I throw... If I make this, that's a very good question, actually, and probably is correct. Let me see here. So if I go back into... Uh, into here. It's probably me just being a complete fool. If we do this, and then we do this... Unfortunately not. No. You only get one one pressed off uh, per bit of storage. You can't throw all five in and, and get five. Uh, but that's a good... That was a good idea. Um, I wouldn't have been surprised if that did uh, that did work. Alas. But, um... But yeah, I can unbookmark this now and I can get rid of that. So, I think I'm going to come back to this quest. I don't know if this quest needs to be done ahead of time, before this quest. The, the only reasoning there is that the thermoelectric generator requires constantan plates. And 
I would like to use the metal press to make those Constantin plates as opposed to having to make the compactor to then make the... Comp like, the compactor becomes obsolete once we have the metal press. So if at all possible, I don't want to have to waste our resources making the compactor when, at least to begin with, I'm fairly certain we can just put a decay generator on top of the metal press and have it work. But then again, I think this might be one of those quests that needs to be done before you get unlock you can unlock that quest. I'm not quite sure. Um, either way, we do need to get the Engineer's Blueprint and the Metal Press. The Metal Press, easy enough. It's the Engineer's Blueprint with five steel plates. Uh, we're going to have to make the compactor. <laughs> so we, we need the compactor to get the Metal Press mold to be able to make plates. So it would seem that the compactor is uh, is unavoidable at this point in time. And so in that case, then, let's grab some, uh, some copper and tin. Hopefully, we can just do something like this to get bronze dust. We can indeed, or bronze blend, should I say. And then just to, again, to... to concentrate things and to make things a little bit faster what i am going to do here i'm going to move all my furnaces right we're going to take these and we're going to bring them back to the overworld or to the the, you know, the main hub zone and then i think i'll also make maybe like three more so we can have like six furnaces all stacked up and all smelting nice and fast oh the metal press is three high no no space on top oh so how would we power it then Oh, we have to power it with tunnels, I guess. You put a tunnel on the top and then build the power in another room. That's the assumption, I guess. Yeah, okay. Tunnels are right here. So we make the metal press. We put a tunnel on the roof. We build another tiny compact machine that has power in it and put the power in through the tunnel. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, can you use the hammer to make metal plates early on? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we can. Again, if we look at the recipe for steel uh, plates, there are two kinds. There is the immersive engineering and the thermal foundation ones. Uh, this one. Ooh. Oh, maybe we can. That is a good point. Steel plus the engineer's hammer gets you the plate, and the engineer's hammer is easy enough. Can we do the same for the Constantin plates? We totally can. Okay, thank you very much indeed to um, Futile Sign. <laughs> Apologies for the mispronunciation of your uh, of your name, but uh, yes, we could totally do that. Okay. We just need uh, iron and string. Yes. And uh, do we have string? We can make string with our hemp, right? We totally can. Nice. All right. So we'll throw you in up there. We'll grab some of that iron we smelted earlier. That is going to make my life a whole heck of a lot easier. So with that, um, what is... Constantin is copper and nickel, right? Constantin is a blend of pulverized copper and pulverized nickel, both of which we should have. Nickel grit and the copper grit is already in our inventory. So boom and boom. And then we need five of these, I believe. So we'll uh, we'll start smelting you up over there. Let's throw down these uh, furnaces. And as I mentioned earlier, I think I will go ahead and make some more furnaces as well. Like that. How are we doing on wood? We've got a little bit. We can also use the, uh, the watering can trick to get uh, wood faster as well now, which is always nice. Uh, what do I need here? Let's smelt the bronze in there, I guess. Uh, the Constantin is coming along just nicely. Uh, steel we already have, so we can go ahead and make those steel plates required. We need at least five for the actual press. We also need engineer's wire cutters, which is just iron and sticks, which is also not bad at all. My inventory is getting a little cluttered. Actually, speaking of which, where's that uh, chest I made earlier? It is... Did I make a chest earlier, Chet? <laughs> I feel like I definitely did, right? Yeah, it's in here. Nice. So we'll take this, we'll put you there, and then we'll go one, two, three, and four. So that makes a basic strong box. And as we mentioned before, this thing is uh, is quite small on its own. However, if we make, and there is a quest for it over here, the hardened upgrade kit. Interestingly, the quest also wants you to make a reinforced upgrade kit, which I don't think we can do just yet. It does require Electrum, which is just gold and silver, easy enough. Um, it also needs silver, which we have already, but then hardened glass requires obsidian that we uh, that we don't have yet right you need um yeah you need obsidian to make that work and i don't think we have a way to get it that i know of at least because we also don't have lava yet either you can make lava in a crucible but the crucible requires an unfamiliar item and an ender pearl uh, and also a glitch tiny machine so i'm not quite sure how we can uh, make that happen yet uh, but Either way, I will go ahead and combine some uh, iron, not steel. Uh, do we have iron on us? We do not. Let me grab some iron grit real quick. 
Uh, if we combine two iron with one nickel, that should get us uh, Invar Blend. And then we can use that to make those uh, hardened upgrade kits. And compare, we have a uh, hardened upgrade kit. Nice. So if we do that, this is now bigger than a, uh, a standard chest. So if we put two of these next to each other, a normal chest has, what, three, six lines, which is 54 slots. Whereas uh, two of these would have eight lines, which is 72 slots. So it is worth having four of these here as opposed to two double chests. And so I think I'm going to slowly but surely try and, uh, and transition into this. It is a little bit annoying that we have to look into more boxes, you know, to find what we're after. But uh, so long as we do a, a, a somewhat decent job of uh, kind of organizing our inventory, I've tried to keep all of my, you know, ingots and, uh, and redstone, I guess, like all of the materials we use quite a bit of in here for crafting. And then just kind of all of the other stuff that we have, uh, I'm putting in, uh, in these smaller chests here, like that. Uh, we do have our six Constantan ingots now, and so we can go and craft those with our engineer's hammer to get our plates. And then once we have those, we should now be able to make the generator, right? This one right here, the uh, thermoelectric generator, three steel, uh, one copper coil block, which is iron, and then LV wire. LV wire is copper wire, which is copper plates and shears, uh, or engineer's wire cutters. Uh, we do need, we do have the wire cutters, right? Did I make those just a second ago? I know I looked at the recipe, but I do not remember if I actually made them. I don't see it, so I think I didn't make it, but that's fine. They're fairly easy to make and actually cheaper than shears as well. So we can take those. Uh, did it say you needed copper plates? To make that thermoelectric generator? Oh, to make the wire even? You do. Okay, so we have to take copper ingots, plate them, then cut them. Okay. Which is why we needed so much copper earlier. And thankfully, well, we have uh, a decent amount of it now. So what's the... Let me let me run some numbers here, chat. Uh, this is where that calculator <laughs> might come in handy. We needed... Oh, we, we were so close to this, right? We started making this and I got uh, distracted. I got distracted with this because we need lapis, right? Okay, so we need lapis for the calculator in the form of cyan because the cyan is lapis and cactus green. We have the cactus green now. Uh, we just need the lapis. We also need lapis for the blueprints in order to get the plates for the uh, for the metal press, uh, the, like the plate mold that is. And so we need to sift. We need to sift some gravel. I think the gravel might be sifted in a flint mesh. Yes, we sit, we need to sift gravel in a flint mesh. Right now we don't have a flint mesh, but we can upgrade our current mesh, which is right here, with six flint to get that flint mesh, like so. And then we need to sift a bunch of gravel. Now gravel, we don't have a ton of, I don't think. We do have, or we did have some gravel dust, but I think we used most of it at the start of the episode. And so I think we're going to have to get more cobblestone, hammer that cobblestone down, and then use that. Now, unfortunately, chat, we need one lapis to get the calculator, and then that's done. That's fine. Uh, but we also need three lapis to make the uh, blueprint for the molds, that being this one here. And each bit of lapis. Ooh. I was going to say each bit of lapis only has a 5% chance, so getting four lapis could take us a while. However, there is a 31 point, give it a second, 31.74603% chance of getting lapis if you use a steel pickaxe on the wall. And that steel pickaxe, my friends, looks significantly easier, in my opinion. Also, if we make it with treated sticks, we get even more durability. So you know what? Let's give that, uh, let's give that a whirl. That seems like a much easier way of doing that, especially given the fact uh, that we have so much steel lying around. I have been told by the chat that we need like a ton of steel in this pack, but we do have many, many stacks. And so for now, we'll go ahead and combine that with like a wooden pickaxe, I guess, to get more uh, cobblestone if we need it. But if we do something like this, look at that. This should get us the lapis, I think, a lot faster. All right, so our wooden pickaxe here is, uh, is done. That was our second wooden pickaxe, but we do now have some nether quartz, some magnesium, and also 57 lapis. And we've still got 469 durability uh, left on, uh, on the old steel pick here. So. I kind of wish we hadn't upgraded the, the mesh there, because now if I want to do more novel sifting, I have to make a new mesh and those get more string. But uh, you live and you learn. And so now it shouldn't be too hard for us to uh, to complete this. We do need to get more paper, which of course requires a little bit more in the way of sugarcane. But as we've seen before, that really isn't too difficult for us to do. We need what, nine? No, three? 
Yeah, just three. Okay, so we have the three back over here. One, two, three. Boom. And then do we have what it takes? I think we almost do. We just need one uh, steel plate, which I think I might have already made. I did indeed. We have uh, five here. We do need one more uh, if we're going to make the actual mold itself. So I will grab one more steel nonetheless. And then boom. Combine that up with the old paper to get the press mold. Let me just check real quick that that is indeed the one that we need. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, yep, metal press, mold, plate. Metal press, mold, and then plate is one of the options uh, that we can do there. Fantastic. And so now we can go and pop that in our workbench, like so. And then going forward, we can make the uh, metal press mold. It requires five steel plates and then the engineer's wire cutters. So something like this and this gets us one of those. Fantastic. So that is that quest completed. And then once we get the thermoelectric generator, we should be good to go. The thermoelectric generator, we were almost done with. We have the uh, the five plates. Oh, of course, we needed the copper wire, right? Yeah, this uh, copper coil block. So LV wire. So we needed a bunch of copper. So each copper plate gets you one wire. Four wire gets you four wire. So we need eight copper wire, which means eight plates, which means eight ingots. Like that, like that. And then we're going to cut all of those up with our cutters. Which I've just put, did I just put those in here? I did right there. Yeah, there they are. Cut all those up into a smaller wire form, like so. And then craft those up with iron, I think it was. Nope, <laughs> I am incorrect. It was sticks. Oh, much easier. And we might even have sticks lying around. We do indeed. Look at that. Throw that in the middle. Take two of those. Craft that up now with iron. That gets us the block. Put the block in the middle. Put the constantin on the bottom. And finally, the last piece of the puzzle is three steel ingots. Uh, we do need to smelt up some more steel, as it would appear that we are slowly but surely running out. We do have more bronze now, though, which is fantastic. I will put some more fuel in there and then split that across the, uh, the two furnaces like so. Definitely doing more storage space, and it's getting, once again, extremely cramped. So once we have the uh, steel ingots, kapow, and look at that, thermoelectric generator taken care of. So if I'm not mistaken, the way that this works, and again, we're kind of running out of space uh, to do this now, but you put this down, and then you put, like, a coolant on one side, and then a, uh, a hot heat source on the other. In our case, I believe that uh, the quest book wants us to put uranium on one side, and then water on another, and that will begin to produce electricity with the uh, thermoelectric generator. We'll come back to that because we might end up using that as our power source for our metal press in uh, in just a second here. But now we're getting to the uh, star of the show here, the actual metal press itself. It requires one heavy engineering block, one piston, two conveyor belts, one redstone engineering block, and then two steel scaffolding. None of which seems too bad. So let's go ahead and uh, bookmark all of these. I don't actually think that any of these are too difficult to make. I think we have, you know, almost everything it takes to make these. So the steel scaffolding, I think, is the easiest of the bunch. It's three steel ingots with three steel rods. The steel rods are made with more steel ingots. Our steel ingots have been smelting up over in these furnaces here. So one, two, three, and then capel, and that is done. Fantastic. Uh, we are, of course, still running out of space, which is not ideal. But if we do something like that, that does give us at least a little bit more space. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to put our steel away because we will need it in, uh, in just a second. But that is that done. Uh, the piston, I think, is definitely the next easiest bit. Uh, and thankfully, we do have some stone pebbles here. Do we get stone pebbles from that steel pickaxe? No, right? Like, it's not... Yeah, no, we get it from, like, sifting, I think, is where we got ours from. Uh, nevertheless, let's have a look here. We do need one piece of redstone and one iron ingot if we're going to make that uh, happen. So, over here... Piston and Kapow, that is that taken care of. I'm pretty sure the metal press just needs the one. And then the heavy engineering blocks could be the hardest part. Uh, they require two pistons, so we do need more pistons um, either way. Uh, four steel and then two machine or two steel mechanical components, which are made with steel plates and copper. So we need eight steel plates, which again shouldn't be too bad. I did just put our steel away though, so let's go and uh, grab all of that back once more. I think 51 steel should be more than enough. Uh, for what we need here, so we'll take eight of those, and then was it copper ingots or copper plates I needed? 
It was just copper ingots. All right, so just two copper ingots should get the job done there. In the middle with one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That's not right. It's uh, fully surrounded. Oh, no, it's the uh, corners. Like that. Two of those. Uh, we also do need electrum, which we uh, currently don't have, but that's easy enough. Uh, two more pistons should also uh, not be too difficult. In fact, I think we have pretty much everything it takes to make two more of those. So we might as well go ahead and do that right out of the gate here. And then all we're missing now is the electrum. Electrum is gold and silver, both of which we should have in dust form in here. So if we grab one gold grit and one silver grit, that should make us, I believe, two electrum blend. And then we can, of course, smelt that up over in any one of our myriad of uh, furnaces here. And of course, for now, we only need the one. And at that point, that's the heavy engineering block taken care of. We do need the conveyor belt. The conveyor belt requires two iron, one redstone, and three leather. At the moment, we only have the one leather, but of course, we can make more uh, with paper and uh, sewage. So we'll do that in, uh, in just a second here. For now, though, let's uh, heavy engineering block. It's a shame that <laughs> where I've put this is awkward. I'm going to move it. Oh, no, I can't move it. I can move it, actually. Because I can't see my bookmarked recipes on the uh, the right if there's an inventory there. So I have to put it like up here so I can actually see my, my bookmarked recipes and be able to uh, shift click them in like that. So you're done. You're done. You're done. The redstone engineering block is also super easy. We just need the one more bit of uh, copper there and we should be good to go. And then all we need now is the conveyor belt. So we just need two more pieces of leather, which means we need six pressed off, which means we need uh, six buckets of sewage, aka six poop. And uh, also six pieces of paper, um, all of which I believe we can do over in the farming area. And uh, once we have our six poop paper, we can craft that up like so. And now all we need to do is craft it. And there we go. Nice. So we have our, we have everything it takes to make the metal press. Now, there is a quest to um, actually make the book. However, I think, and this is always, uh, you know, famous last words. I think I know how to make this chat. Not even close? <laughs> okay, fair enough. Someone in the Twitch chat has kindly pointed out the uh, correct way to make this. Also, I need to change my spawn point there. Let's uh, tear this monstrosity down real quick. So apparently the uh, engineering block goes at the top. Then uh, on the second level here, it is conveyor belt, followed by piston. So conveyor belt. Um, I don't know if it matters if these go the right way or not. I'm actually not sure, but uh, we'll do it like that just in case. Uh, this goes down here. That might have to be rotated, but you can rotate that with the engineering hammer, I believe. Yeah, I think it has to go like that. And then along the bottom, and again, we might have to... Oh, no, those don't break. That's lovely. On the bottom here, it is um, scaffolding on the left and right. And then redstone in the middle. And then we right-click with the hammer. And kapow, look at that. We have a metal press. Beautiful. So apparently, then, we can now put power in at the top. So, uh, or the sides of the top, if that makes sense. So if we head out into yet more compact space uh, what we can do is we can i guess for now just grab another one of these decay generators as well as uh, this block of uranium and i don't know if this is going to produce enough power i kind of hope it does but if we go in here uh, so on one if we go in here and we put down this and this look at that it starts to gain power beautiful so we need four of these, which means we need 16 compact machine wall, which means we need 64 modularium. 64 modularium means we need four stacks of iron grit, four stacks of uranium, and uh, one stack of redstone. Okay. Do we have that? Is a good question. First things first, I'm going to try and dump anything I can in these chests because, boy, are we running out of space. So we have not quite four stacks of iron. We do have a stack of redstone, and we don't quite have four stacks of uranium either. We're close, but we're not quite there. That's fine. It just means I have to do a bit more... Uh, a bit more pickaxing to get where we need to go. After that, we also need... Four of these. Thankfully, they're made in sets of two, so we just need eight more on top of that. That's easy enough. So, yeah, we just need more uranium and more iron to make that happen, right? Um, in that case, then, chat, what I'm going to do before I even start any of that is I'm going to go through and I'm going to make some more strong boxes. I'm going to make more strong boxes... I'm going to upgrade those strong boxes to uh, the hardened tier. All right. So now that we have a ton more iron and a ton more uranium, and also still a ton of redstone, I think we have what it takes to make our stack of modularium blend. Now, if we're going to make four of these tiny machines, 
we do need to smelt all of this first, which is uh, is quite something. Thankfully, though, we do have uh, six or five, sorry, um, furnaces. So let's go ahead and do that. You just click on the left click, by the way. Left click, hold left click, and then drag if you want to split things uh, evenly like that. Uh, nifty little trick. So I'm going to go ahead and split this between all of these to get uh, those cooking. Um, I think we definitely are going to need more wood. We could, of course, use the poop that we have. And in fact, I might do that. Like, what I might do is I might grab one of our uh, wheat here, craft that up with the old uh, poop, and then throw that in one of these. That can do uh, half a stack. So, like, anything that doesn't get finished in its own furnace, I might just uh, move over to the poop furnace. Like, this is not going to last too much longer. Uh, I don't really want to use too much of our wood because our wood is quite a uh, valuable resource. While we're waiting for that, though, what else do we need? We need... A bunch of wood, <laughs> yeah, which uh, we currently don't have, so we are going to have to go back for that. And we also need more modularium um, on top of that, right? We need uh, eight more, actually. So we do need a little bit more in the way of, uh, of uranium. Because we're not quite there yet. With the old uh, machine casing. Yeah, and if we need eight more, it means we need 32 more. We need, like, another half stack of uranium, right? Is that right? No, that's not right. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. We need another half stack of uranium. Which we currently don't have. All right, we got the 34. Nice. So, modularium. Let's go ahead and make eight more of those. And then throw that in there. And then we're just waiting for that to, uh, to finish up. While we're waiting for that to finish up, we do, of course, have to rebuild the uh, the multi-block structure. So, I think what I am going to do for the time being is uh, grab my two buckets. we got one there. And we do have one full of storage right now. Um, let's go ahead and use that to make some wood. Treated wood real quick. I think we are going to need more treated wood fairly soon here so let's just do that basically because i want to get the uh i want to get the empty bucket and then i'm gonna go pick up our water so we can make another unlimited water source fairly soon and then for now i'm gonna clear out this room and uh, and rebuild the multi-block and i might even make our first five by five room into like a farming room because a lot of the pack uh, in the early game here is is farming so that might not be a terrible idea and then we'll, we'll bring in one of our one of our generators and uh, and get that old multi-block cooking up again so we basically just need all of these right as well as three blocks of bricks and if memory serves me right one pane of glass i think that's everything so let's see if i can uh, if i can remember how to do this so i'm pretty sure it's uh item output item input controller uh oh that one's not item that's energy my bad Item goes at the top. Energy goes at the bottom. Uh, we also need the hoppers, of course, actually. It's like one, two. Glass over there. You go there. We need stone slabs as well. Actually, I missed quite a few of the items. Uh, it is stone slabs along the top. Stone brick slabs, that is. And then a hopper and an upper. So, one, two. And then upper, hopper. And that should be complete. Missing input item. Okay, so now what we have to do is put... Uh, we need uh, power, and we need to start putting in our modularium. So power-wise, we should have another decay generator somewhere. The other decay generator is, of course, over in the room with our metal press. So realistically, we could make... We could use our thermoelectric generator, actually. I don't know how good this is. The thermoelectric generator also requires a block of uranium, though. So either way, we are going to have to get a little bit more uranium to make, like, a full block's worth. So back over in our farming machine, we can put down our thermoelectric generator, which I hope can output power from the side. I'll be a little annoyed if it can't. Uh, and then, like I said earlier, the way these work, you put down a coolant on one side, in this case water, and then a heat source on the other side. In this case, we're using a block of uranium. And there we go. Power is being filled in. And then now all we have to do is put our modularium into the, uh, the top slot there. And that should begin making what we're after. I don't know how much power this uses, like, per time. It kind of seems like it doesn't use power. Also, uh, I think these are a little bit glitched with um, whatever mod it is at the top there that shows us the item, because these show as having zero RF. Um, I guess maybe these just don't store any redstone flux, but if you see that, they can. this is generating power. It just doesn't store it, I guess, unfortunately. Uh, but these are being made actually quite fast, which is lovely. Uh, but we do need 16 of those which we're uh, fairly close to getting. Uh, we also need a stack of oak wood, which as of right now, we do not have. So, that is something that we should work on. All right. So, we now have chat. I think pretty much 
everything it takes. Over here, we've got 16 compact machine wall. Uh, we do need four more. So we do need to take 16 of these and put those back in. Those will be done in just a second. We also need 64 wood, which we're one piece of wood away from being able to make. And then I'm pretty sure that we're just ready to go. So I'll take this wood. Over here, we need to make uh, four of these. So first things first, we of course need to make some of those machine casings. The machine casings, thankfully, are not too difficult to make at all. I think I do need four of those. So let's go ahead and do that. There we have four more tiny compact machines. And then to make it into a small compact machine, um, we of course have to uh, run these four here through the old metal press with the press plate. So did I put the press plate in? I didn't. Okay, that's fine. Now, normally I would use a uh, like a hopper for this, but I think that you can just drop items onto the conveyor belt like that. They run through, they get kaplunked, and they come out the other end looking as good as ever. It looks like we do already, thankfully, have enough redstone flux in the metal press to uh, get the job done. There we go, fantastic. And so now we just need those four more compact machine walls, which are currently being made over in the uh, farming cube. Right about here, we have one out of the four required, and that's because we are out of redstone flux, of course. Uh, the reason we're out of redstone flux is because we removed our generator for the purposes of the um, water source. So for now, all we'll do is we'll just put the thermoelectric generator back down. We'll put the uranium back down next to it, like so. And that should bring power back in. And once that is full up, uh, we should be fairly easily able to get the remaining three compact machine walls. And then we should be good to go. We might need four more modularium, maybe. Because we need, like, the actual... We need another machine casing. So we're actually not even quite there yet. My goodness, you need so much modularium to make this happen but we're very 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 close all right all right all right i don't know i hope the, the game doesn't have this much more modularium in it going forward because have i seen enough modularium for my entire lifetime Jeez. okay while that smelts up back over in farming you should be done you are indeed and so as soon chat as these four pieces are done we are good to go we can craft up four compact machine wall with four tiny machine pieces and then one more machine casing, which does need the crafting station, so I'm gonna have to move that, but we're, we're there, chat, we're there. We're finally ready to unlock a bigger room. Never have I been so excited to just get more space. And as I mentioned before, it doesn't look like we're too far away. We're close to a mansion. What's the crafting recipe here? So for the seven by seven, is it? Yeah, seven by seven room, which is crazy. We need, again, the compact machine wall, another machine casing, but then... Oh, and these just... Oh, gosh, we're not close at all, chat. <laughs> no, we're so far away. Okay, because we need four more of these. So four more of what we just made, which means we need 16 tiny compact machines, which means we need freaking 64 compact machine wall, which means we need four stacks of modularium, which means we need 16 stacks of uranium and 16 stacks of iron grit. Gee... Freaking whiz, what in the world game? Why? Why do you do this to me? I don't know, maybe, oh, actually, no, maybe we, oh, no, we can't make the miniaturization table yet. Ah, oh, that's okay. But anyway, basically, we just need to get the uh, the crusher, which is a big multi-block. Um, I guess some automation is going to be needed if we're going to make that happen. But, you know, let's not uh, dread the future. Instead, let's live and enjoy the present because chat. One, two, three, four. Boom. Boom. We have it. We have, finally, a larger compact machine, which for now, I'm going to go ahead and put right there. Oh, look at this. I can finally stretch my legs. Oh, chat. Look at all of the space that we have in here. No more do we have to confine ourselves to just 3x3x3 three by three by three crafting rooms. Now, we have a 5x5x5 five by five by five compact machine for a total of 125 blocks worth of space compared to the initial, uh, what was it, uh, 27 blocks that we had before? Oh, it's beautiful.